Tonight, a Deerfield Beach man is accused of taking advantage of young women and forcing them to become sex slaves. His alleged crimes happened all up and down South Florida. CBS 4's Joan Murray has the latest from Fort Lauderdale. Mr. Miner, you're here for your first appearance. 27 year old Robert Miner is in jail after amassing a small fortune, investigators say, forcing young women into the sex trade. This has been happening all over Day, Brown, Palm Beach, actually all over the country. Miner was arrested in Jacksonville, but lived in this Deerfield Beach building. Investigators say he would run deceptive ads on websites like Backpage that read hiring companions, escorts, and dancers paying $1,000 a day. No experience needed. This past June, a 22 year old woman told Fort Lauderdale police she was picked up at a bus stop. That minor sexually assaulted her at knife point, then forced her to have sex with 100 men at two different Broward hotels. Oh, it's a total cash business, and these young women are seeing anywhere from seven to 10, 15 men per day. You know, they advertise you know 100 hours, 200 hours for an hour, but basically after 10 minutes. You know, the deed is done and they're on to the next customer. Private investigator John Rohde, who exposes human trafficking, says it's a massive problem, much bigger than minor. This is happening every day. Um, if we went out right now within one hour, I would build a, uh, get you 10 different hotels that's having the same illegal activity right now. According to Miner's arrest affidavit, one victim said she knew if she went to police, Miner would make sure something bad would happen to her. Another 19-year-old was flown to Vegas, paid for prostitution, and forced to get a tattoo of Miner's name branded on her arm. They may be adults, but a lot of them are juveniles that are involved in this, and it's a lot more than prostitution, it's human trafficking. Prosecutors say La Quinta was one of Miner's hotels of choice and that he would often choose hotels near 95 because he said that is where he made the most money. He's being held without bond in Palm Beach County. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.